Hi, my name is Yogita Agrawal. I am 23 years old and I started SOPEN a year ago along with two of my best friends from college. We came across some really scary stats that 1.5 million children under the age of five die each year due to infectious illnesses, which can be prevented just by hand washing. We learned that children don't necessarily like washing their hands with soap, but they just love drawing on their hands. So with soap and kids can simply draw on their hands, marking all the areas that need to be cleaned, and when they wet and rub the drawing, it lathers. Because they enjoy the activity so much, it turns hand washing into a habit. They inherently just follow the seven steps of hand washing. So we no longer have to like teach them and like nag them to wash their hands. Instead, they look forward to it. Parents have been super receptive to soap and to the point that we actually had to start retailing the soap even earlier than we thought we would. A lot of parents buy soap and to place it in their own bag to use it on the go and when they're traveling. It's, it's pretty unusual for three young women entrepreneurs to get together for an Indian startup. But I think one of the key factors that helped us put together this company was the support from our respective families. And unlike the usual notion that you might be looked down upon being a woman entrepreneur or you might face a few more hurdles, we haven't had that problem. People have actually been extremely supportive of our startup and of the idea. The problem with working in the social impact space is that sometimes the issues are so daunting and the stats are so horrifying that we, we step back and we're like, I don't think I can do anything about this. But if you have an idea, and if there is even just a 1% chance that it might work, you should prototype it, check it, get feedback on it, because you might not know how effective this idea might be.